What's up guys this is Hardik here and today I'll be showing you the best screen recorder for Android So basically I tried tons of screen recorders for Android let's say iOS AZ and many more and finally I have the best one over here so it's called the AZ screen recorder it's over here so if I just open the recorder here as you can see this here are will be your settings and all will be the options and here if i just tap on the second icon over here we get here are the settings so once into settings you can see we have the encoder option over here uh by default it will be on advanced itself so no need to change that this is magic button it is an invisible button that does everything so it is turn off by default but you can turn it on by your choice stop option so you can uh just stop it from your notifications or uh from anywhere that you want now the next thing here is the best thing itself uh, as you'll know the Nexus 6P has a 2K display it's 2560 by 1440 so it also supports the resolution itself as you can see here it's 2560 by 1440 uh, and it's very pretty pretty smooth so that's pretty good also the frame rate is 60 frames per second available over here uh, but i guess it won't work on the 2K resolution it will work on the Uh, 1080p display itself so that's that's a downside of the screen recorder next thing here is the bit rate uh, it's auto by default so just keep it on auto if you don't know what this is or if you don't want to mess with it so the next thing is the orientation you can change it to auto or landscape or portrait by your choice time lapse is also uh, available over here so we can just speed up our display or speed up the screen recording and you're good to go Then we have record audio. We can record a microphone as well. Then the text and logo. We can also show touches over here, as you can see. We can also enable the front camera. So that's a pretty pretty good thing. If I just hit OK, and this actually requires an upgrade. So you have to buy the pro version to do this. But anyways, it's there in the pro version as well. So yeah, there also countdown before the start, and then the countdown value over here. the number of countdowns it should do before starting the video so if i just like start the video just go back here and then as you can see here is the gallery option over here so uh, it uh, shows the videos that you have in the uh, gallery the saved videos in the gallery and then this here is to just close the screen recorder so if i just open it again and then if i just hit on this over here it will start the recording So as you can see it says we'll start capturing everything that's displayed on the screen. So if I just hit start now it will count down until 3. So as you can 3 2 1 and there's our screen capture. So it's pretty pretty good. I just disabled the uh, short touches option so that's the downside over here. We can anyways enable it. So as you can see this is pretty neat and let's let's see if I go just go to the Twitter and just refresh something and yeah that's pretty much it uh if i just sli uh, slide down as you can see there's an option called pause stop and draw so we can like draw okay it says please join in to get full feature so uh, i guess this is a feature on the pro version and not on the free version itself so yeah that's pretty much it it's really really cool and the best thing here is it lets you adjust the frame rate so that's actually good and yeah that's pretty much it as you can see it lags a bit because i have selected the 60 fps which i guess nexus 6p doesn't support but anyways it will work on other android device which supports the 60 fps video recording and yeah that's basically it thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed And if you want any more reviews or any more app reviews of this kind just let me know in the comment section below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one